All right, so we have another section that we want to create here, and this time we are going to create a native pixel perfect table. We will right click on add levels, and what we will look for will be sales versus margin by sales rep, this particular ClickSense chart, and we will click on OK. So inside the white space of the template right here, uh, what we have to do is create another band, and you'll notice that the level that we just created is listed inside here. Okay, that gives us the possibility of adding several more bands to this area. So if we want to include headers or footers to this table, but the first thing that we need to do is to bring in the fields from this table into our pixel perfect template. So I will expand the levels node on this particular object, and I want to bring in these three fields. I'm going to hold down control while doing so to select them all at once, and I will drag and drop them uh, into here. There will be some formatting that we need to do here, so let's go and start work on that. Uh, we can do the collection of formatting for the entire object, and there's a couple of universal formatting adjustments that we can make. So let's go to the border color, and let's make that our custom click dark gray. And for border, the ones that we want to use in this case will be the left, right, and bottom borders. Uh, in addition, let's set the font size for this particular table, and we'll set that to 10, and we'll leave Times New Roman uh, as is. And let's set the foreground color for the table that comes in this data. In this case, we're going to use custom, and I need to add the light gray. This is what we're looking for in this case, so I'll start with an empty custom uh, color, 159, 161, 164. Add the custom colors, and click on OK. Now, if I want to edit each one of these fields individually, I'll start by the first cell here. Let's switch this and make the uh, text alignment here middle left. And we want to set the width at the bottom. And let's make the width for this first cell 530. I can highlight the central cell. In this case, I want the text alignment to be middle right. And I want to change the width and bring that down to 320. And then lastly, I can take the final cell of my table here, and we will do middle right for the text alignment. And then let's adjust the size down here. The width will go down to 200. This is a margin, so it's a percentage. Uh, we do not need a very wide column at this point. And let's also set how these values will be displayed inside of uh, our pixel perfect table. This is going to be a percentage, and let's do this one with one decimal point and click on OK. All right, and then what we can do is move this bottom border right up here so that way we don't have any extra space in between the table rows. Uh, otherwise, when I run that table in the report, uh, any extra space that I have between the bottom border and that dotted line will come through in the resulting tables as well. All right, so that is the table. So that will be the, the data rows that come through from our values in ClickSense. But let's also add some table headers. And what we can do in this case is right click in this area. And let's put a group header here. Uh, for our values of the headers, let's take a table object from the toolbox. And we'll drag that in. So let's first stretch out the cells accordingly to make sure that they line up with the cells in the table. And we can change the font size to 12. We can change the alignment of all of these to middle center, since these will be headers on the row. OK, and then let's also give these names. Uh, we will call this top 10 sales reps. In the next cell over, we can call this sales. And in the final cell, we will call this margin. 